Hello and welcome, I'm Vanelli. Now my guest here today is a commercial photographer and an educator who's going to give us three exciting tips on how to composite an image. Please welcome Joel Grimes. Hey Joel. How are you doing? Real good. Well, welcome. So, well, Thank you. Now Joel, you have a class coming up this Monday, September 16th at 10 a.m. Pacific time, right? Yeah. Yep. And what, what's the class on? Well, it's Photography Composites uh, Masterclass. So, um, you know, about 11 years ago, I started doing composites. And uh, so it's been about, it's been a good 10, 11 years that I've been what I would call mastering the concept of putting a subject, or photographing a subject in a studio environment, photographing a background, and then putting the two together and making it look like it's one shot or I call it selling the fake, right? And so every photograph is a fake anyways. But when you take two parts, put it together or multiple parts, put it together, that's even harder to pull off. So um, I've learned a lot of skills in doing that over the years. And so we're gonna talk about that. And, And one of the things we're gonna key on is the concept of the backgrounds. What, cause, cause, Getting the right background literally makes the shot. So um, I've spent a lot of time uh, learning how to create uh, amazing backgrounds and how to position someone into that uh, uh, environment and make it look like it's um, they're there. Right. Yeah, and that's the whole concept: selling the fake. And I like that. I like that terminology. Um, yeah. How about you share your screen? Show us what you have. All right, so here we have an athlete, and one of the things I say is that getting the right background with their subject is like a marriage, right? So some marriages just don't work very well, and some do. So I got to find the right marriage, the right background, and so a lot of times I don't know what that's going to be. So like here we have, uh, this is a a scene with the New Orleans kind of old alley. So I say, okay, that doesn't look too bad, all right? So then we go... And here's a here's a street scene. Well, that does that does that really work? I said, well, it might, you know. Okay, well, maybe not. So here's another. Here's a scene in inside of a a stadium, right? The color temperature is not quite right. I, I would change that. But then here's another one um, in a, another uh, a sort of a factory uh, that I photographed. Here's one another one. Uh, that's uh, looks like a um, underneath an overpass. That maybe doesn't work so well. Uh, here's one that works pretty good. Uh, this one works actually pretty good. I may reposition him. But the point is, is I don't know necessarily what's going to work perfectly until I go and sort of put the subject in there and then play around. So it's a little bit of fiddling and it's a little bit of, uh, you know, sort of guesswork. Um, but eventually I get the right marriage and then I feel like I've pulled off the, the shot. And so it requires that I have a library of backgrounds. So I have been for the last 10 years photographing backgrounds every free minute I have. So if I fly and I go uh, go to give a talk in uh, Kansas City, I usually get there a day early and then I go around, I get up in the morning, I start shooting backgrounds. I go and I uh, will shoot at late light uh, in the evening if I have time to go shoot more backgrounds. So I walk the streets and I shoot backgrounds and it's really fun, but I've done thousands upon thousands of backgrounds and I have this incredible library of images that I've built uh, from stadiums to, um, you know, track and field, you name it. So it's really fun to go and build the fake or or the marriage and, and create the fake and win over my audience with a dramatic portrait. Well, that's awesome. Now. You mentioned, on, uh, if we look back at this image of the, uh, the muscle guy uh, yeah. pulling up the, the tire, you're saying you shot that on a, what, a gray background or a white background in the studio? Well, yeah, not always, okay, but yes, generally it's a white or a gray. Now, if I get a 50% gray background, there are some incredible techniques of extracting the subject out of the gray and it's phenomenal white or just a little off white is actually uh 
what I use mostly. But 50% gray is incredible. Now this image here, I actually is extracted out of a regular scene. So it doesn't always have to be in a studio, but 98% of the time, 99% of the time, I'm extracting someone out of a studio environment or a sweep, a gray or white sweep. And you're planning for it, correct? I'm planning to do a composite, yes. Gotcha. All right, well, this is awesome. Now, uh, could you go through some more of the others you went through? Well, some of the this is just, uh, when, I, when I show a grouping, like, like here's the, <clears throat> here's the, uh, the background by itself. And then here's what I've added is some, what I call the finishing off elements to create the oh. fake, which is a photo filter. So I warm up the background or warm up him or whatever. Um, I, uh, I do a little, a black and white layer. Um, here's a levels. Let's see that changes him a little bit, a little snappier. Here's a gradient to darken nice. the tire. Um, you know, here's some, uh, a little bit of atmosphere behind him. You can see that. Um, and then there's a vignette on the background to bring him in a little bit. So these are all little teeny elements that I make to help sell the fake. So I drop them in. And this is, I would call this still maybe not a 100% finished image because there are some things I'm, I'm trying to switch out backgrounds here just for an illustration purposes. But yeah, this looks great. And I, and I like how you, you were doing that. Um, for like you said, you go out when you're in these locations and you actually take photos of everything. You don't know what you're going to use them for in the future. But you know, hey, this background looks really cool. I'm going to use it. Now, yeah. what do you suggest? Go on. Well, here's the funny thing. That sometimes I will find a background location and I go, oh, my goodness. This is absolutely incredible. And I take my picture, you know. And then I'll be walking along back to the hotel and I go, oh, oh there's a shot. Click, click, click. And then later... The most incredible shot doesn't work, but the one I just shot off the side just as a second thought works a lot better. So I don't really always know what background is going to work. It's kind of a funny thing. I, you know, if I was smart enough, I could figure it all out, but I'm not. So I have to kind of play around. <laughs> so, all right, so I like, I like how, you, how you showed us how to sell the fake. It's not just taking a, a shot of a background, taking an extraction of, a, of an image putting it together and calling it a day, you're selling it by adding extra um, vignette to it or a yes. photo filter. Atmosphere, um, uh, maybe a, a, a warming filter or a cooling filter. Um, I do that a lot where, for example, uh, let's say we add uh, a cooling filter here. So I can make this look like night, right? Oh yeah, nice. And, and, and or at evening, right, late evening. So there's a lot of tricks that I can do um, and and to what I call the finishing off part of it. So I'll, I'll let, let me let me just and I'll, I'll be talking more about this on, on Monday. I can't wait. But the most important thing is you have to win over your audience. And how do you win over your audience with emotions, not techniques? So it's not all about the extract It's all not about the, you know, Lighting, yes, is important to, to build mood, but it's an overall complete package of an emotional impact to your viewer that wins them over. It's not just a really good uh, extract or you know a really good background. It's like a combination of a whole bunch of elements that come together to finish off your image and people go, wow. That's the most important thing I want is someone to go, wow, that is incredible. Well, hey. Joe, that's awesome. Now, Joe, for those that, that haven't spent the time uh, pulling backgrounds out of their images or going to the locations and getting backgrounds, where would you recommend that they find some of these backgrounds? Well, so that's what that's what uh, Monday is all about is I have, uh, with a lot of people twisting my arm, I finally have come up and I've built uh, a bunch of groupings and bundles of backgrounds that I've done from all over the world uh, the streets of, uh, you know, Boston to the, you know, this is actually New Orleans. I've got um, um, a whole bunch of signature, what I've done, my best backgrounds, and we put them together. We're going to make them available for people to use to help them with their 
composites. So that's what's really fun about this. And I, I've been hesitating to do this for years. I get emails all the time, people asking me to uh, make available my backgrounds. And I've just, I, I put it off and I finally said, you know, all right, I'm ready to do that. So uh, I've done that. And that's what I want to do is show people how to build incre incredible composites. And I've done, uh, you know, some of the legwork to be able to help people do that. Oh, cool, that's awesome. Hey, so Joel, um, people are excited. They want to see this class. Where can they watch this class? Well, you, got, you have to sign up. You go to joelgrimes.com. And then you, uh, you sign, in, send, I sign in, and then you'll be sent a, uh, a um, reminder and then a link. And then when it comes time, you click on it, and it goes live. And I'm there I am yakking away. <laughs> You know, that's great. So, Joe, you know, um, thank you so much for taking time out. Here we are on a Saturday morning. Um, yes. And you, you had a long day yesterday, right, in L.A.? Well, I had I was in L.A. doing a commercial shoot all week, and I got in last night, and then here I am, uh, you know, going again. But I get to see your beautiful face. And that's what <laughs> the day good. Well, yeah, thank you so much. Well, so, again, it will be this Monday, September 16th. We'll yes. follow the link uh, below and sign up for the class, and you'll be able to see Joel go through his master art of compositing. And I love that term, selling the fake. Yes. So, Joel, thank you so much for uh, taking time out on this day. Vanelli, thank you, too. I'll see you soon. Okay.